Hello and welcome to Talking On Purpose with Tori. This is the internet show where we talk about all things related to church growth, communication, social media, and building your ministry team. I am super excited. All this month, we are going to show some recaps because I'm going to be traveling and amazing things are happening and I'm super excited for that. But in the meantime, I was thinking that I love a reel. I love something that I can get information in under 60 seconds. I feel rejuvenated, energized, and most importantly, I feel informed. So that's what this month is all about. I am going to share with you every Friday some of the best of snippets, the information, the takeaways, if you will, from the past series and some of my favorites from a couple of months ago. I know this information is going to benefit you greatly, especially because it will be a, I've heard this before. Did I use that information? Did I apply it where it needs to go? This gives you an opportunity to review. And if you're new here, first off, hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell and letting someone else know that you are enjoying Talking on Purpose with Tori. Over the next couple of weeks, you will see short informative videos based off of the longer videos that I've already shown you. And I pray that you will enjoy these recaps. Take your notes, take a sip of tea, take a deep breath, and let's jump in to today's video. The churches and faith-driven organizations I work with, we use Canva. It is our go-to software website where we can, as a team, create beautiful images and also then share them with our community, and then even share them on our personal pages, because that is really the goal, to make things shareable, to have them retweeted and reposted. But how do we get to that point, especially when you have different opinions, different styles, and all of those things? How do you mesh them together? Well, as you guessed it, Canva has a fantastic tool called a branding kit. And from this, you will use your church or faith-driven organizations. You will use their logo, their color, and the fonts. You will agree on the font choice based off of maybe your programs that you've done in the past or the newsletters that you all have had printed and keep it consistent. So that way, even online, people will know, hey, that's that church, that's that organization. As you get as close as possible to the the colors, maybe you draw them directly from the website, but if you don't have a website, get as close as possible. The logo, again, create a transparent and you can use that on all of your posts. So that way, no matter if they just share the image or the entire wording of your post, you will still have that what we call brand recognition or church recognition. People will be drawn to you based off of the content that you share. I recommend if your church or organization is able to pay for the pro version of the Canva account. That way your team can collaborate and share posts with ease and not have to go back and forth with a Google Doc or something else. For $120 per year or $10 a month, it's definitely worth it. Amazing tip number two. Okay, Tori, I see Canva. I've never used it before. Well, I show you how in the Blueprint Initiative 1.0, so I will direct you to that course. But for today, learning how to use Canva is pretty simple, and they do offer some tutorials. Schedule a time so that your team can come together and know where all the folders are, how you want to start using Canva and creating the content so that it becomes a very easy, less frustrating, less stressful process. Amazing tip number three. Are you ready? If you find a template that you love, and let's say, for instance, the size isn't correct, so it's a poster size or a thumbnail size, but you love how it looks, Canva will allow you to resize it for the appropriate dimensions for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so forth, even for the newsletters. So do not be discouraged. You can still use the same Canva account 
You may need to do a little bit more digging when it comes to the templates, but you will be able to resize it for the social media that you want to post it to. So here on my Instagram, you can see that all of my color schemes are very similar. This is the Our Given Purpose page. And I'm going to also show you the Hello Tori on Instagram. I want to draw your attention to the fact that Instagram becomes very much a scrollable website. So anytime someone is on your page, they can view it as a whole and see lots of content that you've created. They can click on it, see what you've written, and even go to your website or be directed to a call of action, whatever your church or faith organization has in place. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being with me. I know that if you implement these ideas, these strategies into your team, that you will create amazing content with less stress, less frustration, and not only create a relationship and bond with those you're working with, but you're going to reach and impact people from around the world simply by sharing your faith, what your church or organization is doing, and how you are creating that beautiful ripple effect of sharing who Jesus is.